Hello, good people. Today we have an article that I saved from about how the Brooklyn is becoming a very a hotbed of uh, independent bookstores and booksellers, and uh, there there's a, many people that are interested in uh, keeping this tradition going. There's a case of uh, Emma Straub, who is a, an authoress, and her husband. They started a. Uh, they started books are magic. That's one. That's one example, and there are other examples too of this phenomena. Let's take a look at this right now. This is our article. Books are magic. The book borough. Manhattan remains the center of book publishing, but Brooklyn is where bibliophiles go to shop by Rachel Hearn. Above, books are magic. Cobble Hill's new independent store, owned by novelist Emma Straub and Michael Fusco Straub. Looks like a nice place. Manhattan remains the center of book publishing, but Brooklyn is where the bibliophiles go to shop, by Rachel Hearn. When Book Court in Brooklyn closed its doors after 35 years last winter, best-selling novelist Emma Straub, Modern Lovers, that was her book, Modern Lovers, that is her book, a former employee and Cobble Hill local decided the neighborhood's loss was unacceptable. In May, she and her husband, Michael Fusco Straub, opened their own store, Books Are Magic, booksaremagic.net, a few blocks away. Quote, bookstores are a part of people's lives, she says. What matters is being able to wander in with their dog or in their running clothes and having to be and having a place they feel belongs to them. The shop keeps alive Book Court's best-loved traditions. Readings by a roster of A-list writers and a stellar, quote, staff picks shelf, now nestled in an old fireplace. There's even a poetry, a, a poetry gumball, machine that dispenses watercolored poems for a quarter. Most important, that's very innovative, a, po uh, a, a, gumball, a poetry gumball machine that dispenses watercolored poems for a quarter. Most important, Books Are Magic has star power. Straub herself is often the one behind the counter. Nowhere is the remarkable comeback of independent bookstores more apparent than in the literary hotbed of Brooklyn, home to more people per, home to more writers per capita than anywhere else in the country. Every store is a little different, depending on its location, the owner's tastes, and his or her various idiosyncrasies. Take Stephanie Valdez and Ezra Goldstein's. 46-year-old community bookstore, communitybookstore.net, in Park Slope. Many of the shelves are organized by publishing house, such as Europa Editions, known for Elena Ferrante's Neapolitan novels. If I had to tell you the most unique thing, it would be the pond with the turtle, Valdez said. Says, John Tertulli is named after actor John Turturro, who owns a small slice of community. So the actor John Turturro owns a small slice of community bookstore. Greenlight Bookstore. Greenlightbookstore.com is one of the borough's most neighborhood-focused outlets. It, quote, it goes back to the way we were founded when we opened in 2009 says manager Jared Ennis. Quote, people who wanted to invest in the bookstore could and did. Both the Fort Greene and Prospect Lefferts Gardens locations 
are tailored to their environs, stocking a large array of writers of color as well as hosting a civic engagement series. Co-owners Mike Bellamy and Jonas Kyle of Williamsburg, Williamsburg's Spoonbill and Sugar Towns, SpoonbillBooks.com, offer a quirky selection of titles with a bohemian bent. There are traditional sections like literature and poetry, along with categories that combine several genres, such as, quote, thought. The proprietors recently opened a new store in East Williamsburg where they offer readings and gallery shows. Even McNally Jackson Books, McNallyJackson.com, is beloved as the as beloved as the Strand near Union Square or the West Village's Three Lives is getting in on the action with plans as of press time to debut a Brooklyn outpost this fall. The Williamsburg store will open a hoop a, the Williamsburg store will open a hip cafe and a, and a literature section as sprawling as that of the Prince Street mothership. And here we have other, down here we have uh, some other information about books and uh, hotels. That's the Regis, St. Regis and Mandarin Oriental, that they're uploading books, uh, you know, literature for the people that go to these hotels. Anyway, this is this is the this is the uh, books are magic bookshop. Very, it looks like a very nice place. So okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching again, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Take care. Thank you very much.